What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Before we get started in tonight's video, if you guys would go down, hit that subscribe button. A lot of you guys get too far into these videos or click off these videos way too prematurely and you guys forget to hit the subscribe button. So it would mean a lot if you guys went hit that subscribe button. It'll help grow this channel and it'll help me with producing better high quality content. So with that being said, let's get into tonight's video. Tonight's video is a little bit different than my usual content. Usually you guys don't see me do sit down videos. And if you have been on the channel long enough, there are a few, but they're few and far between. But I'm sitting down in tonight's video because one, I haven't posted in a long while. And two, I don't really have anything super exciting planned that I could act upon like right this instant, if that makes sense. So a couple of my projects, like all of them, kind of have been placed on hold because of the opportunity and kind of what I'm gonna be talking about in tonight's video. So I'm extremely excited about this new project and this new series that I'm about to bring to my channel. And I think you guys will really like it and it's gonna be kind of a twist to, most of the videos I post on this channel are content about, you know, off-road stuff, boats, trucks, whatever, you know. And I usually get hands-on and kind of build stuff or fix stuff or redo stuff or just ride stuff. The series that I'm gonna bring to the channel is gonna kinda encompass all of that, but in a different way. So if you guys don't know what the heck I'm talking about, obviously I'm in a pretty different location than I usually am. Usually it's in the shop, usually I'm at shows, or you guys have seen me in what we call the bar shed out back. But this video is in a completely different location that you guys probably are not familiar with. It might have been in the background or in a couple videos, but very subtly. This is my garage. And you guys might be like, oh, cool, Biggs, we're sitting in your garage. What YouTuber that does the content that I do, do we not see their garage? Well, this is kind of different because this is actually my childhood home. I'm going to try my best to take you guys along on the journey of everything we're gonna do. Obviously, this video is the start of that journey, but it is far from the final product of what's in store for this property. The videos that I'm gonna be filming here on forward are gonna be about this garage. And if you guys can kind of see in the background, it is far from clean and I still have a lot of work to do. But unfortunately, I didn't really film the before. I have a few pictures, maybe I'll flash up. But this garage is an absolute disaster. It has become a catch-all for everything that we don't want in the house. And unfortunately, it's been neglected quite a bit. But I'm excited to announce the new series on this channel. It's going to be a dream garage build, which really it's not, it's a dream garage for how I want this to look in my dream, in my envision of what I want this particular garage to look like. I wouldn't say it's my overall dream garage build, but obviously SEO and everything like that, it has to be my dream garage build. So in the future, I do have plans of building an actual shop, but right now it's going to be my dream home garage build. And I'm super excited about this because I have a pretty decent space to work with and I'm, I've got some ideas floating around in my big, humongous brain of so much intelligence. I think you guys are going to be super entertained with this journey and kind of what I'm envisioning. and. You guys will be able to kind of get inside of my brain a little bit, which is scary to think about. And you'll, you'll be able to see my vision kind of take shape. My vision right now is pretty minimal. Once I get started on the project, I kind of get way deeper and involved than I kind of anticipated. So I'm excited to document that for you guys because you'll be able to see kind of the whole entire process. To keep this video as short and as sweet as possible, uh, but to get you guys kind of excited about this new series and I'm excited to hear your guys' feedback and kind of what you guys might have done in your garage to make it your dream garage and maybe I'll take some of your guys' advice. So a rough estimate of the size of this garage is 20 by 30 so that's roughly 600 square feet. Right, yeah, yeah, math. I'm not gonna show you guys the front but this was the original garage to the house and then my dad actually built on another portion of the garage which is similar in size uh, to what we're sitting in right now 
on the front. So basically my, my envision for this space is to be completely open, an open concept. I like to use this space for a nicer studio setup. I wanna use this space for some of my projects. I've already thought about bringing the boat back over here and finishing the boat once we get this done because I think this space is gonna be a lot cleaner. I'm gonna have better lighting. I'm gonna have everything that I need to make sure that my videos are at the highest quality that they possibly can be, but I'm also able to complete projects and not feel so overwhelmed or not feel like my videos are that great in the space that I have been using previously. For right now, I'm going to still use the shop space that you guys are very familiar with if you guys have been watching these videos for some time. That shop space isn't going anywhere. That's actually my grandparents' property um, and they so kindly let me use that space. But I'm super excited to build this space into a climate controlled area. I won't have any restrictions with in terms of you know the space because I kind of have to use it because I kind of have to be generous that they're allowing me to use that space, that not the whole entire thing is mine. So some of their stuff kind of trickles in and it can, you know, take up some valuable space. So basically what this garage needs is, it needs insulation on the roof. I don't know if you guys can see all the way up top or the roof. So the next step is getting insulation in the roof. Most of the walls do have insulation, so there shouldn't be much work there. I realistically want to get this space almost livable, but it's still gonna be a garage space and I'm still gonna do garage activities, but it'll give me a nicer, cleaner space to do projects. Obviously, concrete floor, that's gonna stay. I don't know, I might polish it, I might coat it. I don't, I'm not really sure. Obviously, the lighting in here is not so great, so I'm gonna do some lighting upgrades. I'm going to have a better space to lay out some products. That way when I do videos, you guys can kind of get a better, clearer view of what I'm working with and kind of stuff like that. One of the unfortunate parts about this garage is my truck will not fit in here. I can't get it through the first garage door, let alone the second garage door. So unfortunately, as much as I would like to do some truck content in here, it would be too much work to get everything the appropriate height to get my truck in here. Um, I suppose I could still try it. I haven't tried it. I just have a strong suspicion that it's just not gonna work because I don't know. So maybe I'll try it, but I doubt my truck can fit in here. So my truck is kind of ruled out for anything. That's why I'll have to still use the other shop. But in terms of boat, three-wheeler, UTV, anything like that, I should be able to accomplish in this garage space and be able to get you guys higher and better quality videos. That's kind of the gist of this garage and the future videos that you guys can look forward to. Um, obviously, I wanna make this video not super in depth because you guys are gonna see the whole process kind of from start to finish. With that being said, I appreciate your guys' support. I appreciate you guys being patient with the upload schedule. Not many of you guys really care, but I really struggle when I'm not able to get videos up to you guys. So these past few weeks have been a little bit challenging, but I know that I'm doing productive stuff and doing things that are eventually going to help the videos. So yeah, that's kind of a lot. I wanted to keep this shorter than what I probably am gonna make it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys look forward to this garage build. Drop a comment down below if you guys are excited. Hit that subscribe button. And that's really all I have for you guys. I know this video is probably far from the true excitement that these videos are about to have, but nonetheless, I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.